Barnsley 3, QPR 0. And a rather lovely debut game for Valerian Ishmael. I'll work on that pronunciation. If we go, we've got any French subscribers, help me out with that because people do hold us to a rather high standard here and expect us to be able to um, pronounce uh, international names from about a thousand different countries correctly, but I'll have a go anyway. Um, so, as I say, Ishmael in the dugout for the first time. He wins 3-0 against Rangers here. Obviously, big mitigating factor is an early-ish red card to Rob Dickey. Uh, in terms of the continuity, if I was a Barnsley fan, I'd probably be quite pleased to see the same system and a lot of the same players. We wondered how he would configure it up top. Chaplin and Woodrow with Frieza off. Remember, he had Frieza at Lask um, in his previous job. So, familiar to the player. Moat and Styles in the central midfield. Uh, for QPR, well, they seem to put out a load of attacking players in the last game. A little bit more balanced. Maybe they knew that because they were playing against Karanka that they could do and that Birmingham were going to be very defensive. But uh, Dieng and Hammerleinen are still in that back five. They're, the shirts are theirs. Can they keep them over uh, Lee Wallace and um, uh, Lumley, the keeper? Barbe, Dickey, Kakai, that's been stayed. Uh, Ball and Carroll with... Adoma, Bon, Chair and Dykes up top. And key, key moment in this game. There is, excuse me, Rob Dickey with Corley Woodrow. Dickey's got his arm around him. That is actually going to progress another couple of yards, actually, from where I screenshot that. And Dickey pulls down Woodrow. Obvious goal-scoring opportunity. Um, fun argument by, I think it was Luke Amos was arguing with the ref saying, look, the keeper's got it covered. Uh, obvious goal scoring opportunities kind of don't include the keeper often, do they? Unless he's literally got possession of the ball. But this one looked like a fair call by the ref. Let me know if you disagree in the comments. Uh, however, it's all um, done now because it happened. The red card got given and there is Woodrow. Uh, spot the ball there. Top left-hand corner as we're looking. Sends the keeper the wrong way and gets the goal. Now, there is the second Barnsley goal and it still doesn't do it credit. This is a really nice goal. I think it's... Anderson and then Woodrow comes short, plays a lovely little flick around the corner and then um, down the left hand side, I can't remember who crossed it in, possibly Mowat um, and it's a touch and a finish. You wouldn't think he'd score from them with the pressure on the ball and the players in the way but Chaplin sticks that one in. Um, no, it probably wasn't Mowat being he's in the back of the shot there but 2-0, um, obviously the caveat is they're playing against 10, aren't they? So um, good goal though, really nice goal, 2-0 Barnsley. And the third one's a bit embarrassing there. Barbe is just going to try and intercept that from Woodrow. You can see, you can't see the ball, but he's about to poke it with his left foot, trying to poke it back to Dieng, presumably to clear. He completely overhits it, gets the angle wrong, sells Dieng down the river, and puts in a pretty cringy own goal, it has to be said. There, and it ends 3 0. There are the numbers. Look, the red card there, 26th. Minutes and no big chances for Rangers thereafter. Only two shots on target. And as you can imagine, look at five big chances for Barnsley. So a nice performance, a nice win. Again, um, I don't know. I mean, let me know if you're a Barnsley fan. You would still, you would have wanted the 3-0 in a selfish way to have been without the red card. So you can say, oh, okay, we've won. Uh, and we won without any mitigating factors. So... Uh, in predicting the future mode. Uh, can we use this win as a predictor for future success? No, probably not because of the red card. But still, will it build confidence? Yes. Um, is it? Will, will you take it? Will you take the three of the three points? Of course. And it's an opening debut win for Valerian Ishmael. Uh, for QPR, it looks a bit worrying now. Goals have dried up and the defeats are coming. We'll look at the table in just a minute, but Rangers in poor form and most definitely trending downwards. Barnsley 3, QPR 0. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. To see more videos from this channel, hit the subscribe button and to be notified every time we upload. Ring the bell for those notifications to come through on your device. If you really want to support the channel and me as a content creator, I will be eternally grateful if you head over to the merch store and grab something or support over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Benjamin Bloom. Thank you for your time. Go and watch another video.